Hey, you. Yeah, you. You're probably sitting here watching this clip on TikTok wondering, damn, when am I gonna get some bitches? Well, wait no more. You can call 1-800-GET-SOME, and we're gonna get you some bitches. Mm -hmm. They may not be the best bitches, but they're gonna be a bitch. We got Iranian bitches. We got Afghani bitches. We got what other war-torn countries are there? We got Venezuelan bitches. Mm -hmm. Iraqi bitches. Iraqi bitches. Iraqi bitches. Mm -hmm. But the motto is, we gonna get you some bitches. You need to get off TikTok and get some bitches. So call 1-800-GET-SOME. That's 1-800-GET-SOME. Thank you. All right, guys. That was our first ad of the... Uh, for our podcast. We're moving on up. Yes, sir. For all the niggas that need bitches out there. Nah. Yo, welcome to another episode of Completely Irresponsible. Uh, we already uh, know uh, the, uh, the trio. The trio was back. We got we got Kyrie, KD, mm. and, 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 and James Harden. Um, well, Kyrie, KD, and Peter Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of not having no bitches, I lost all my bitches. Was I say this whoa, whoa. They're not bitches. They're whores. Whores. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> now, wait. What, you seriously though? It was funny because I posted a selfie the other day, mm -hmm. me without the beard. And I just got a message of spam of just. It was all disappointing. Yeah, it was all just like, oh, uh, like, really? Yeah. Oh man. The fuck. That's kind of fucked up. I'm more than just a beard, you know. Shit, yeah. Shit is sad. It's like you're more than just an athlete. Shit. Just. Shit is, yeah, I'm so sorry. It's crazy. Right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just walk it's over good. it. Just more than just an athlete. You just uh. I mean. Hey man, it's here. Give me two weeks. I'll, I'll be back. Yeah. Why do you do that? I do skincare, you know, twice a week. Got to, you know, got to show you what I once in a while. I got to take, I got to hide my powers. I can't, I can't you, always be on 100%. I got to, look like, I got to, you know, even, even Superman got to have some kryptonite here and there. Uh, don't you don't, look like, what'd you say, Oscar? Don't, don't you think that if you're trying to look like that, you lose bitches for like two weeks until it grows back out? Like, think of the there opportunities. Go. There you go. See, that now, you're now, right I got, now. now I got to hustle and grind. You mode. look like a hoof. Hey man, I, I gotta, I gotta feel, I gotta know how it feels to be ugly sometimes. Nigga looks like open salami, like <laughs> open salami, Jesus, like, just uncured Jesus. ham, like. Unc <laughs> Jesus, oh man, oh I'll man, take it. I've been roasted all week. I don't want to stare at you. <laughs> like, this is mad uncomfortable. I guess this gives me a reason to look at the camera. You're all mad day. uncomfortable, damn. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> like a big ass baby. Yeah, hey, you want to talk? You're not on camera this week, but you're boss to baby head ass nigga. Boss, hey man. <laughs> You look like like this is your last leg, and I'm your make a wish. Like, hey man, like shit. niggas couldn't get you raised on Rondo, so they got me. <laughs> like, <laughs> yo, yo, my last request. I just want to see Rage on Rondo. We don't got Rage on Rondo, but we got. But we got a podcast here. Like, <laughs> we got a local podcast here, low level podcast here. If you want, I mean, like <laughs> he makes dick jokes, bro. Okay, I don't want to hear that. Yeah, we're trying. It's booming. It's not. Instagram booming. It's not. <laughs> YouTube. It's like a. It's like a hit me up. I'm sitting here like. I'm like half asleep right now. Right. Nigga hit me up. He's like, yo, like, this video got like 3K views in like under an hour. Like, I think it's gonna hit 20K. I'm looking at right, like, right. <laughs> I'm like, shut up, nigga. Like, <laughs> I'm just like, all right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was just, I was so tired. Like, I'm saying, like, right now, bro. But yeah, like, that was impressive. I don't know. Nah, it was impressive, but I mean, it meant nothing to me. Like, all right, fuck it. You didn't like, think it would get that many? Nah, I mean, like, I we always like have company. one video where it's like, it just like it was just fast. That was the fastest I ever, seen. especially on IG. Within yeah. like five minutes, we got like. All right, so know. I mean, it happens. It's just not consistent. Like where it's like for me, it's like I like the likes to match the uh, video. The so views, like the views don't really mean as much as likes. Yeah. yeah. So it's like I'm like okay, like this is cool, but I mean that was the best we've done. So whatever. I wasn't really used to like all the discourse though. Yeah. It's hard. Like that's, that's getting used to. The discourse is that's the best part. But I'm, I got to get used to like the comments now. I'm like I'm just used to like it just being blank. So now people are in the comments speaking on Instagram. Arguing, giving their thoughts. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm being real with you. If you listen to this, I don't really give, we don't really give a fuck about your thoughts. You can argue, <laughs> but like, yeah, yeah. I appreciate the comments. Like full-blown paragraphs, and this is like fam. Like, like I, don't think really, about it, though. I don't really appreciate your take on so-and-so. Like, all right, dog. Like, <laughs> yeah, they was going. Think about it, though. Now you're getting people engaged. Yeah, I mean, no, it's a good thing. Beforehand, I just got to get used to it. Were quiet. Yeah, yeah. I got to get used to it, because now I be like, I know some of these people. I be like, yo, shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> your opinion is not important in my mm -hmm. honest perspective like you can shut up mm -hmm. so what's something you're used to tiktok is just these niggas is ruthless like they don't give a fuck you know what's funny when we posted that one clip of Yumigo, we lost followers but we got them by, right back bro we okay. got them right back so okay. uh with the recent post uh but yeah that they was not happy they got, we got love people, so yeah, got, people were hitting on that yeah. So it kind of sucks to know where our um, demo's going and where it's just misogynistic jackasses. Like, 
Mm-hmm. Niggas that hate women, mm-hmm. like, it's like, ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, like, it's, it, the, the misogynistic discourse is kind of funny. Yeah, but, all right, how's, I was talking week? too much. How's your week? Uh, my week was busy. I was upset. I've been editing photos all week. I'm tired. Damn. But um, there's a bright side. Mm-hmm. About to make my friend group smaller, you know? It's just having a Squid Cir- Game steam party. Mm-hmm. Gonna kill all y'all niggas. Circle <laughs> small, Cheerios. Shut up. All right, let's just get into a topic. <laughs> Wait, I got, what you're asking my week? Damn. I don't care. I know how your week went, <laughs> salami well, face. You, like, <laughs> how was your week? How was your week? Thanks. See, this disrespectful motherfucker. All right, my week, my week was I had a good week. I went out. There's no way in how you had a good week. I have a story, okay? Bro. <laughs> well, <laughs> this nigga looked like a turkey dinner. Look <laughs> saying he had a good week. All right, but I poured gravy <laughs> off your girl, so I don't hear it. <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt it. Stuffed and basted that bitch. Oh, man. Um, (laughs) This nigga look like Subway ham. Like, (laughs) damn, Jesus. Damn, I was looking looking like a Subway sandwich right now. Is that that what it is? Oh, man. All right, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. You know what? The worst part is I feel like I look like a cop. So I look in the mirror. I'm like, yo, I would arrest me right now. Or like, I would have. You don't look like a cop. I feel like I look like a fed with that beard. Nah, you don't look like um, a fed. You just look like lunch meat. <laughs> PD. <laughs> all right, all right, my bad. How was your week? How was your week? Yeah, so I went out. I, it was actually a funny story. I went out uh, I went out last weekend. I went to, uh, I don't know if you heard of Slate. Mm-hmm. It's like this pretty pretty white bar. Two floors club type scene. Um, and it was it was lit. It was popping. It was packed. Could have moved in there. And then I, w- I was dancing, chilling. In the corner of my eye, I see a six seven six eight motherfucker. Looking like a bear walking around. Uh-huh. I'm like, he's like, I gotta suck his dick. Nah, right. uh, I'm like, that's Boris Diaw. <laughs> I'm like, it's Boris Diaw. For for those of you that don't know Boris Diaw, this man locked up LeBron in the finals in 20 11. 13? 13? 13? 14? 13 or 13? Something like that. 2014. One of those years, he locked up LeBron. Don't get your hand off the mic. And he, uh, mm, yeah, he locked up LeBron in the finals, and I just saw him randomly just in the club. Even just in the club, casually, like you, like when you see an NBA player in the club, you envision like bottle service and like balling, spending money, big group around him. This man was dolo in the club, just hunting for pussy. <laughs> shit was kind of sad. It was so sad, but it was kind of funny. I, I'm, I'm a big fan. I recognize him. Like, yo, I'm a big fan. You locked up LeBron in the finals. Oh, big you was matters. sucking dick. Od. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Od. It was so. It was low key sad. But uh, <laughs> yo, I saw that defensive technique you did. Yo, can you teach me that? Like, he's, <laughs> and he's talking to me. He's just looking, but I can tell like. It's kind of pathetic. He I'm was sorry. For like, that nigga get no bitches. Like, yeah, it was just funny. Bro. If you if you can't pull up, did, did they win? Yeah, they won the finals. If you can't pull up as an NBA championship, it just automatically get some poontang. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's sad. You should be able to get some. That's pathetic. The he was he was like he had a couple of white girls that were on him for a minute. That don't count. They they left and they didn't stay with him. That don't. Oh. And then I saw him outside the club by himself, just like looking for moves. And then this motherfucker, I'm like, yo, where's he going? He's walking up the street by himself, like, yo, someone could just rob him right now. But he grabs a city bike. Mm-hmm. This motherfucker is six eight. He's fat and he got fat, but nah, he's like three hundred fifty pounds. Like yeah. he's heavy. Like so, just imagine a bear, like a bear on a city bike. This motherfucker is city biking it up. I'm like, yo, is that Boris Dio on a fucking city bike just zooming? With no it? bitches. <laughs> just with no bitches. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a funny sight. Boris Dio on a city bike with no bitches. It was man. like the illest fucking shit. That nigga need to give his ring back. I should have asked him to be on pod. No, <laughs> wow, so I can tell him to his face, yo, you get no bitches, like. <laughs> Hey man, we were at the beginning, man. Like, come on, man, that's pathetic. So. You should be able to just wave your your ring and just be like, "All right, suck my dick." Like, mm-hmm. How you have you ever been to the club by like, no? Yeah. Oh, you really want to? Oh, you get no bitches either. Not bad. <laughs> I mean, that's gross. Like, <laughs> would you oh. go to the club by yourself? All right. All right. I'm gonna say it does. <laughs> All right. That's the narrative I'm going with. I gotta stick hey, with you it. You never been to a, cl- to a bar or club by yourself? No. Never. I have friends. Okay. That don't look They're like consistently going out. That don't look like wet salamis. What's wrong with like wet salamis? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm not going to a fucking bar by myself. That's just sicko mode. I'm sorry. Mm. Oh, bar is fine. Bar is fine. That's yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, club? No. I don't do it consistently. I've done it before. A club? Yeah, it's calm. Okay. So I'll, you Please stop see, shaking see the see table. See what's out there. Like, see. no. No? Go with your friends and have a conversation and then find some bitches. Well, Call 1-800-GET-SO. What, what if I uh, know your friends want to go and you're just chilling? You're just like, oh, I'm just going to stay home all day do nothing. Oh, fuck it. Once in a while, like, fuck it. You know, what, what, what do you... So, like, like, if you go to the club... And you in pursuit of the bitches, and you walk up to one and she dubs your shit. Who are you walking to? Another one. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. You can't. Another do that. one. You gotta like. You gotta like. So like, 
You can chill. Go. You go to a bar, you can have a drink, you start a conversation with strangers, you know? You don't have to be such a fucking introvert. You can, you know, nah, it's not being an introvert. Show, I'm just saying, talk like, to people. I'm just saying, like, if I walk up to a woman, a nice young harlot, and she's not with it, and she does my shit, I want to be able to walk away to my friends and be like, ha ha, yeah, let's, let's have fun. Not, ah, uh, damn, I'm just dolo, solo dolo. Nah, I don't think. No, first off, the funny thing is in bar, in the clubs like that, no one's fucking paying attention. I so think they like, are. They had, even that one time I went, they'd be like, "Oh, you, you, uh, who are you with? Where are your friends at?" And mm-hmm. I'm like, "Oh, they're talking to other women." And I'm like, oh, "I don't know. Yeah, no yeah. one's paying attention." So you. What happens know? when you hear your favorite song? What happens when it's like swag surf comes on? Who are you swag surfing with? Yourself? I'm grabbing strangers. Now, nah, what if they're like, Ugh, "Get off me"? And then that, That's embarrassing. That never you happened. gotta start a bar fight. When you drinking, yeah, I'll start a bar fight. I want to get into a fight, but I don't really want to get into a fight. Mm-hmm. I just want to hit a nigga and leave. Like in the back of the head. I could see you. Like if I got in a fight, I would fight. And like and, and I'm fighting, you would fight me. No. <laughs> <laughs> she said. No. I was like, I fight you. I'm like, no, what? I'll fight for you. No, I feel like I feel like you would like at the end of the fight, you'd come in late and just get your last two licks in. And just like, hey. I'm like you wait, know where what? was I? Where was I? Just watching. <laughs> nah, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. But like, I'm not. I'm, I'm fucking the dude up. Let's say I'm fucking the dude that's up. That's a one on one. Yeah, it's one on one. Oh no, 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 one on one. Let's I can't say I fucked the dude up. I feel like mm-hmm. you'd still come in and just get your two licks oh, in for yeah, no yeah. reason. What? <laughs> be like, yo. <laughs> You know, getting two licks, I'm stepping on the nigga. Like, <laughs> but nah, nah, nah. If it's a one-on-one fight, you can't jump in. That's fucked up. That's that's horrible fight etiquette. Unless that nigga starts to fight. Like, if he's bothering you, then I have full right to just get in because it's like we don't know you. But if you start it, mm-hmm. I'm letting you fight. And if you get your ass beat, I'm letting you get your ass beat. Did you watch the um the Mouse in the Palace documentary of Thirty for Thirty about? You, you watched the, like my favorite part yeah, of the documentary. For those of you who don't know, good I'm, documentary, good soup. For those of you that don't know, it's about uh, it's about the fight that broke out in an yeah. arena in like 2003, 2005, whatever, somewhere in that a- rate range, where uh, Ron Artest and a bunch of NBA players ran up in the stands and fought fans. But one scene stands out to me where the dude runs up on the court to size up Ron Artest. Mm-hmm. This white dude just runs up and he got a clist, like fist clenched, but he like he's like, yeah, I'm about to punch Ron Artest. <laughs> and then Ron Artest in front of him, he's like, oh shit. And then Ron Artest just sides him. The dude was not ready, bro. Sorry. That's what I think of whenever like I get street fights come up. So yeah, you gotta be ready. That's, uh, but that's some white people shit though, cause like white people will dead do this, like they'll just be like, yo, come on, bro, and they just like they'll ram push their... you. They'll go like chest to chest with you, with yeah, yeah, yeah. Fight, like... chest to chest or forehead. They even like head, lightly like... push you. If Boris Diaw slapped a girl in the ass, would you you gonna fight him? Not that nigga get no bitches. I'm not gonna be offended. <laughs> that's probably the first ass he's touched in months. Like, <laughs> his bitchless hey, ass some, nigga. Put some respect <laughs> on that man's name. No, <laughs> nigga went to Slate of all places. <laughs> they got no bitches. Yeah, like, Slate <laughs> is not a place. You're an NBA player. Don't go to Slate. Like, there's so many places he got went to. This nigga's. I'm going to Slate. I respect the cheapness though. He didn't get a bottle. He's pulled up. People gave him free drinks. And he should. And he should have got a free bitch. Yeah, he I'm didn't. Free. I was. Yeah. It was kind of depressing. I'm not going. This nigga with. probably jerked off in his tears. <laughs> that's like, nah, that's facts. Hey man. Uh, but um, damn, yeah. I had an actual question I wanted to ask you, and I got super distracted. I guess it was irrelevant. But uh, speaking of like clubs and shit, I know you had this as a topic. Your transitions are what's good. a good, what's a good? Damn, all right, appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate it. <laughs> Wait, what's good? Nah, it's just Thanks funny. Transition. <laughs> it's funny because like I've been stopped doing that like <laughs> months ago. I just be like, all right, yo, what are we talking about next, man? Like, <laughs> what's on this fucking well, you list? Know, like, also, you had what's a good wingman in the thing. So all like, right, but I made I feel it. Like Talking about Boris Diaw getting no <laughs> club is a perfect segue for that. You just ruined his transition. Yeah, exactly. Damn, yeah, right. Speaking of. It would have been so seamless. <laughs> but speaking of, <laughs> speaking of, like, speaking of seamless, how do you seamlessly get some uh, women from your bros? Bros. I said like a uh, Brit. Bros. Um, most dudes are awful wingmen. First off. I think I'm a good wingman too. I've only won one you once. Uh, have you? No, I'm actually really bad at it. <laughs> I'm really bad at it. God, remember this day. And this is how I actually met her. Like, we're friends to this day. You you were mad lit. And he was like, yo, I'm going to talk to this chick. I'm like, okay, cool. It's he's a like, punch out, right? Yeah. And that. then he's like, yo, just like, talk to that girl. I'm like, all right. Um, sorry, guys. Um, and I don't really know what to say. I really had zero interest in talking to her. But I'm like, yo, I'm just going to be honest with you, yo. He just wants to talk to your friend. So I'm just here. Like, did he, <laughs> like I, now mine now, like, that could have went bad. She could have been like, yo, what the fuck? No, Yo, let's go, bitch. That's like, not bad, actually. That's not, that's that's not, bad? not bad? That's oh, not bad. Okay. That's not okay. I didn't know what to do. I panicked. I was like, ah! Because, because she'll sure respect that honesty. Pussy! She'll yeah. sure respect that honesty. Yeah, uh, but. Then I, we're good friends now, so I guess it worked. I mean, I don't think I ever talked to the girl ever again, but, you know. Uh, that's tragic. That's shame. But, uh, we had sex, too. Huh? We had sex, too, actually. Yeah, I guess girl? it worked out, yeah. Okay. 
No, I guess it worked out. That was a good opener, I guess. Worked out. That probably won't work again. I can't just go up to mad women. Yo, like, my friend just wants to talk to your friend, but, like, hey. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm an asshole wingman. I just do, like, oh, this dude, he's ill. He did this, this, and that. Like, some corny shit. Be like, yo, oh. man. Sometimes I'll exaggerate. Like, you like, yeah, oh, he built bro, a I globe. Just him, I just saw him save a cat from a tree last week, bro. Like, Most time, I don't even like cats. Over the top. Like, Niggas be allergic to cats, and you be like, yeah, son. This nigga always rescue me a cat every other day. Like, I'm like, damn, nigga. I'll just name drop. Yeah, this dude gets, does this. He gets money, whatever. You know, some corny shit. Yeah, I'm in financial. I'm shit. a financial crisis. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just telling mad lies on my name, son. Yeah, you know, we working at uh, law. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I think you, don't, you don't got a wingman story? Like, like you personally, like, if you go up, do you have a story that you could just say over and over again every single time you go? So there I was, right? Spitting on a fish to keep it on <laughs> 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 Wild fish. I was it was Oscar's thing. That's what you say when you talk to women. This is Oscar, yo, Oscar, hit him with the, the hit him with it, hit him with the. So, so, so there I was, right? Mm. Knee deep in sand, spitting on a fish to keep it alive. Can you spit on his mouth? Shit died. That's a good. I see. forgot it was salt water, so you know. Um, it dragged the attention. And they're like, oh my god, they don't worry about how scientific it is. They just be like, oh my it god, like, I, poor you fish. Did you so, get if I, one? so if I walk up to a girl, I'm like, yo, so there I was, spitting on a nigga's crotch. Like, no, that's no, 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 no. First of all, <laughs> I don't that think that would turn, turn her on at all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that would turn her on. But I was trying to keep him alive. He had a... No, isn't no, that no. what you do when you get stung by a jellyfish? You spit on their crotch? No, no. nigga, you pee you on their fucking... You pee on, the oh, on their crotch. You don't, no, you no. pee on the area you got stung, bro. Oh, uh, no, I'm fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, though, like, you just go... I, I, feel like most, uh, yeah. I feel like most dudes fuck it up. Being yeah. like, I want to try this thing I seen on how um how I met your mother. Like Barney walks up with Ted and there'd be a girl. Mm -hmm. He would, like pulls like, hey, have you met Ted? And then it's just like, all right. Like I feel like that only works for white people though. Yeah. That's, that's some white people shit. Like if I'm trying yeah. to get a white girl, I could do it. Hey, have you <laughs> met Amro? <laughs> this is, uh, oh my god. Have you met Rondo? <laughs> wow. <laughs> <It's not laughs> you met Rondo. I ain't gonna lie to you. If a chick really thought I was Rondo, bro, I have to air out the whole... I would have to... Oh, you want to let her rock? Nah, I've got to ruin the whole event. Fuck it, I'm Rondo. Nah. Why not? She's like, yo, dribble. Like, Just get a headband. <laughs> she's not gonna <laughs> say that shit. What if she's she like, probably even gonna say, like, oh my God, you play for the Nuggets? Yeah, yeah. She's gonna get the wrong team. Nigga. You're not tall enough to convince She's like, yo, like, shut up and dribble. I'm like, wow. Jesus. That would be dark. She's like, yeah, I'm actually... She a fox. Oh my God. I'm not going to lie, though. If I really heard that, like, in a club. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you say, like, I'm Rondo. She's like, are you really Rondo? Shut up and dribble then. Like, like <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I'll do it. All right, yo, Kelly you got it. Conway, Jesus. Now I just got to start dribbling the ball everywhere I go. Just like. Oh, shit. Oh, man. I like but Fox News shit. It is. It's, it's really easy to fumble the wingman bag, though, because you can really just say some utterly stupid shit. I feel like uh, I like your approach though. I like that that one completely honest. Just like yeah, I'm just I'm just here. Yeah, I'm just here. Nah, it's I'm cool until it don't work. Everything's cool until it don't work. Yeah, yeah, because it just worked. Because she could have grabbed her friend like, "Yo, let's go, bitch." I hate that shit. And then it's like, uh, you ever be, <laughs> my favorite is you ever be catching a dub and then she look at her girl, her girl friend for approval, mm -hmm. uh, just looking at you. So she'll look. She'll be like, "Not this salami she'll face." Do the face. She'll be like, the, <laughs> "Um, we." <laughs> Sometimes I get the thumbs up. She don't even look. She look. You either get the thumbs up or you get the. Hey, that's my bitch. Hey, yeah. <laughs> or you get the nah, girl. You gotta. Yeah. You know what I hate? Like when you're dancing and like your bros walk up to you and do this. Oh, don't touch my shoulder. Don't touch me. I period. probably done that to you. <laughs> Just get away from me. Like, yeah. You see me? You don't see me don't here trying to. Don't talk about cop. Like, leave me alone. I'm trying man. to focus on not getting hard and you over here touching me. Like, come on, man. Like. <laughs> Hey, like, what's the point? Like, what are you trying to... I'm just trying to make you look cool. Especially dudes that don't know you. That's the worst. Like, I've never met you a day in my life. Yeah. Why are you touching me? <laughs> that's fine. I don't know. Unless you're getting broken, so I'm just like... Oh, that's fine. Nah, <laughs> yeah. nah, nah. <laughs> unless, unless you, you know, you need some backups and support. Real niggas don't get broke out here, bro. I don't know to tell you, man. Can't I, speak for y'all wall-hugging-ass niggas, man. I'm going to come out of retirement. I think that's what... I think that's where I... I got a spot. Dude, you catching wine. Hmm? I went to a spot recently. You catching catch a calm wine. You went by yourself? I actually went with this man over here. I think gonna say yes. Yeah. So I was like, oh, you get no bitches. Like, <laughs> oh, I was man. catching a wine, clearly not. I um, feel like, oh, that's a fly. I feel like um, this is random, but my Tinder etiquette is horrible. At this point, I don't even care anymore. I just be like, all right, like, mm -hmm. but like, what do you mean? I don't even know what to say. Like, I just be like, hey, like, just like, all right, like, yeah. hey, hey, how you doing, ma? Like, uh, I'm dating apps have been killing me lately. Hmm? Yeah. I'm not a fan. You know that also 
No, I can't say that. It's just the effort involved. Can't say that. Oh, this is actually something I want to ask you. What what determines the amount of effort you put in on a date? How is fat is the pussy? <laughs> how do you know that beforehand? You know. you know how girls have big dick energy? Girls can have, I mean, dudes have big dick energy. Girls can have fat pussy energy. Like, damn, that bitch, she what do you fat, qualify she as? Fat pussy energy. <laughs> what do you qualify as fat pussy energy? Like she comes in, she's want to oh. split the tab. Okay, never mind. I'm sorry, pause. <laughs> I was like, she comes, like damn, like she's ready to split the tab. Um, like, oh, yeah. you're one of those niggas. She's ready to... Is that really big pussy energy though, okay. or is that just like she thinks you're a bitch? Big pussy. I feel like that's an insult. What when she wants to split the tab? <laughs> that's an like insecurity. You call him a big pussy, big pussy energy. It depends. Yeah, I like a big pussy. If they like have tiny twats. Like, nah, I don't want some tiny twats. I'm saying what I feel like saying today. I came here with no topic, so Aired out. this is free range Kearney. Free range. You can just say it. But um, uh, what was the question? What determines like, like when you go on a date, do you, you don't give the same effort for every girl, right? So is it, yes. what determines the amount of effort you're willing to put in on a date? I give every woman the same effort on a date. Do you really? Yes. Really? If we're going on a date, I'm a cheap asshole. Mm-hmm. So if we're going on a date, <laughs> I'm spending money. There's levels to dates though. <laughs> Some dates are like no. You take it if you're taking it to a local spot near your crib. That's ch- like the cheapest location near your crib. I don't even free eat date. in my fucking area. Mm-hmm. So why would I take you to my area? I barely eat there. Because you, you know, we're going to Tribeca. Houses in your area. We're going to Tribeca. <laughs> nothing more, nothing less. I don't have to tell you, my <laughs> Tribeca. Yeah, that's, 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 that's the spot. Nah, let me stop. Uh, I do eat in Brooklyn. Um, but nah, I don't really like rank a date like in a sense of like oh i'm gonna give you this amount of effort and i'm gonna give you this amount of effort it's just sometimes you're just not in the mood to give 100 percent then why are you going on a date i mean because why not i don't know what still, uh, i don't know Nigga, what like just you can still go on a date without like what do you what do you mean 100 percent effort though like where are you putting the most effort in all right let's say for example you're you're going on a date with a dime piece right 10 out of 10 you're going to put in more effort. You're going to take her to a nicer place. You're going to make sure you dress better than you normally would. Versus, so, like, a, a less... A, I'm not, <laughs> not a dime piece. You're going to have any trouble with this thing. We're not a dime piece. You, get, you, all right, you mess with the average girl, you're not going to pull up like LeBron. Right? You're going you're gonna to be wearing your, your break-off your so break sweats. So it, depends, so it depends on how she looks, You put in the, uh, how you put in the effort? That's part of it. Also, my mood. <laughs> That's pathetic. That's not pathetic. This is like damn. So then why go on like, a date with the person? Right, so you're, going out, you're going out with a dime piece, like a ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. You're not gonna, you know. Why would I go? A little extra stop here and there. First of all, let's stop right there. Why am I going out with anything less than an eight? I don't know who said less than eight. I'm saying a ten out of ten. Yeah, but you're eight to ten. Eight, you're treating the eight the same as, as a ten out of ten. That's fair. Yes. You are. Okay. That's fair, nigga. Yes. What yeah. the fuck? Are you, what What are you doing? Yo, your dating is just horrid. Like, oh my god. Good reviews. Check my Yelp. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to check your Yelp. Like, I just don't understand the logic behind saying, ah, right, yo, I'm going to take you out on a date, but I'm going to give you a half ass effort versus the 10. I'm going to just go crazy. Like, what's crazy? <laughs> what's crazy? Side mad big. Like, yo, <laughs> <laughs> what's crazy for you, my nigga? <laughs> like, all right, so, like, if you're yeah. dating a five, is, like, the date for you, like, yo, just come to my crib and look at my turtle? <laughs> like, it, might, it, might actually be, it might actually be that. I'm not even going to hold you. It might so, actually be so, that. So, that way, why go on a date with that five? If that's what you're trying to bust. What the fuck you think it is? Like, what, what do you think okay, it is? So, well, like, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Salami face over here is horny, nigga. Like, <laughs> oh, I, are y'all acting like I don't get horny? Like, what the, what the fuck yeah, is going on? I'm, I'm not, I'm not going out effort. of my way to take, like, a mid-chick on a date. Just because I'm horny, nigga. Well, just, <laughs> um, by a date, I'm taking on a low effort date. No. <laughs> a quick a quick one near the crib. You no. want to go to this local <laughs> shitty bar near me? We'll grab I'm not, one I'm not drink. taking you out on an F. I'm looking for love. Like, <laughs> every time? If I'm going on a date, yes, nigga. Like, I'm not, bro, I don't I'm not, need to do I'm that. not lover boy. So. Certified lover boy. CLB. Certified lover boy, nigga. Like, if I'm going on a date, I'm... Looking to see if I could be in a relationship with you, nigga. I could just do that. Right, I don't sometimes, sometimes you want a full course meal. Sometimes you just want some fast food. I can't okay, ca- and I, can't I don't. Catch a, I can't catch a four for four on Tinder one time. I can't be like, yo, real quick. I, I just want. I got a rooftop. It's not a you date. Wanna, you, wanna, you wanna drink? That's it's a not date. a date. That's what a hangout. That? Dumbass, nigga. Hangout. I'm sorry. I don't Dumbass. Know, I don't know high school definitions. <laughs> no, you don't know definitions. Like, <laughs> okay, what's the difference? A hangout and a date. If a you're, date, if you're taking a a date girl, is with an intent to get to know the woman in order to be in a relationship. A hangout is like, yo, I'm trying to put my balls in your mouth. <laughs> okay. That's what a hangout is. I'm trying to I, hang I, out I these balls on your face. I call them the same thing. No. Okay. Fast food hangouts. 
<laughs> hangouts. Hangouts. Jeez. I'm trying to hang out these balls on your face. That's that's what okay. a hangout is, my nigga. Okay, that's a hangout. A date is I'm trying to fall in love. What determines today. what determines whether a chick is a hangout or a date? Do I like her? If you don't like her, you're still going out. I don't go out with women I don't like. No, 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 no. I'm talking about like if I like her, I, I want to see you on a date. Oh, I want to like, get to know like, you. I'm sorry, you got these, if de- these definitions. A hangout, nigga. I'm trying to do that today. Like okay. <laughs> within the next 20 minutes, we trying exactly. to exactly. <laughs> That's not <laughs> your no. What do no. you know? I'm not spending money just to fuck a chick. I'm not doing that. Just with the only intent to fuck a chick. Regardless, you spend money regardless. No, you're Depends. not. You spend less money on a low effort. No, 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 no. You don't no, even no. have to use buy a bottle of wine. That's a date. That's no, a I'm fermenting my wine. <laughs> I'm not like, gonna hold <laughs> you. I was expecting a way different answer on this effort. Shit, not rating. What do you mean? What I, feel like, I feel like y'all talking to me crazy. Like. No, no, because the whole point was like on the actual date, like w- w- what effort would yeah, you put in? That's part of it. I feel like that's part of it too. Because during the date, you find out like, is this a girl? Is this a girl I would actually date? Is this a girl I would see myself in a relationship with? Is this a girl I just want to bust down one time? So you can find that in the 10 too. You could yeah. be like, you could be that's like, true. oh, shit. yeah, absolutely. You can find But it. you that's can also find it in the eight, like, oh my God, I think this bitch is really nice. You could fall in love with a four. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever fell in love with a four? Yeah, shit. <laughs> she got good personality. She got good box. Did you have your beard? <laughs> huh? Did you have your beard? Yeah, or are you looking like a hoof? All right, can, we, can my beard not be a topic? I'm insecure. <laughs> I have no beard right now. I feel naked. I would I'm too. I'm vulnerable. You I have are. less protection on my face. Yeah, I see a pimple forming. Beard? It's not. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. Um, I mean, listen, I I'm like just busting your crazy. balls. I feel like that's not that crazy of a take. It's not. All right. But... Like, I ain't got nothing else to do. I ain't got nowhere else to go. <laughs> like, <laughs> what do you want me to do? End the conversation? Like, uh, I, I he wanted me to agree, and he gonna be sitting there like, all right. I was gonna wait till you agree. Like, like well, I, I agree now. Right, now what? Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> See, this nigga don't agree. He said, I, I don't wait. I, I need to like a girl first. I mean, I do. Wait for what? I like her, like her. Like her for what? Before you, I don't know. Take her. I'm like, what determines whether you're gonna actually go hang out or actually? Oh no, no, no. yeah. But I decide I'm going to date with you. I'm. You don't I've do never hang- really Wait, you like. Don't do hangouts? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Why you say, man? <laughs> like you're not okay. <laughs> you're the fakest lover boy of all time. You're really pulling a drink right now. Nah, I do hangouts, <laughs> nigga. Nigga, I don't do hangouts, but I, you, you do it in the sense of a date. I just call them all dates. <laughs> I, I, like, I feel like if I'm licking said, up, if I'm licking up I'm with a shorty, I'm not paying for shit in this hangout. You have to pay on every day. This hangout really is gonna be in you in my house. I'm not leaving the confines of my living room. Damn. Like so, you want to travel for a hangout? Nigga, I have a two bedroom apartment and I live by myself. I'm not fucking doing anything. I haven't done anything yet, and I'm not doing anything now. My That's enough. Yeah, thank you. I'm your OG, <laughs> nigga. I'm your OG. OG. <laughs> what the fuck is he talking about? Like, I'm not doing shit. Right. Yo, I live by myself. That's a lot in New York. That's good. Yeah. Mine's like, I got the rooftop. I got a rooftop. And that's a lot in New York. Yeah. That's a lot in New York. I'm not paying for in, shit. In unit. I know how to cook. Like you're bugging. Come in, here and eat. In unit, wash and dry. <laughs> Come here. Eat. I'm your father, nigga. <laughs> huh? <laughs> you're their father, nigga. Come here and eat. Yeah, what? like come, come over here. I can give you something sweet after. Like, oh man. Yeah, I'm not talking about this dick. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I just want to see what your hangouts look like. Nigga, <laughs> I feel like you still bring like playing like seductive music. You got the incense going. First of all, I have no incense. <laughs> Please stop shaking the table. Um, I have no incense in my house. I have Febreze plugins. Mm-hmm. Um, let's start with that. So it's automatic, bitch. Second of all, <laughs> 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 I get the record player going. Vinyls. Vinyls. Play that Megan Thee Stallion WAP. Why do you, you look good? Having WAP on vinyls like is oh, crazy. Oh, Chloe gave it to me. Just, right, right. I didn't buy it. It was just a gift. I was like, all right, cool, thank you. But um, nah, nah, yeah, play the. Um, I either play the record, the vinyl records, or. That's how you set the mood? Nah, that's just like, oh shit. Like, I'm awful at setting the mood. Oh no, I'm nice at that shit now. Like, Word? Yeah, yeah, and I got this. The diffuser out? No, I have the Febreze plugins. It already smells nice in here. You're good. It smells like vanilla bean. It smells like vanilla bean in Put here. Put some fabuloso on the floor, just. <laughs> <laughs> You're That's disgusting. Cold. You're done. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> you put your mic away. <laughs> but nah, and then um, I got this like little playlist. You know, it's like it goes straight through. So like you know, every, every, after every song, you can hear it end. Mm-hmm. It doesn't end. Mm-hmm. You don't know. Transitions. Yeah, transitions mm-hmm. fire. It's called Baby Making you Music that, Part yeah. One. Yeah, it's just crazy. Playlist for it. Just crazy, bro. 
get that going, just chill. You don't even make it hot like you trying to fuck. You just sing the lyrics like, yo, I love this part. Like I want you. Mm-hmm. You. And she's like, oh, like he not really like, you know what I mean? So she's just chilling. She get a little comfortable. She get a little loose. Um, mm-hmm. And then you just take it from there. Obviously, you should have liquor. I don't drink liquor no more, so we drinking lemon water. Mm-hmm. Um, so I give her like a glass of lemon water, lemonage. Mm-hmm. Um, she start getting a little loose because she got to use the bathroom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How often does this work? <laughs> All the time. <laughs> <laughs> Once the lemon water gets in her system, she got to pee. The lemon water. You got the tox, the detoxifier. Yep. Tox her old, detox her old nigga right out of her, man. Now she fresh, like. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> now she fresh and ready to go. Now we just chilling, you know. Just now you gotta play it by ear from there. You could do a mm-hmm. variety of things. You could play some Uno. Okay. I don't know why Uno is a panty dropper. Uno is yeah. Because they start losing, they That's get upset. Go to move too. You're the Uno master. Because mm-hmm. they start losing, they get upset, and now they want to open their mouth. So I was like, okay, mm-hmm. throw baby. So he was like, all right, draw four, and I lick my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, actually, you know, like we can't stack, but you could stack this dick in your mouth. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know? <laughs> or um, house rules. <laughs> by the way, yeah, well, house rules. Just, honestly, though, the music really is enough because the TV's mm-hmm. off, the lights are on. Mm-hmm. The, you're just chilling, you know. You just just talk, you know. Sound like you're quite the panty dropper. No, I'm not. And you establish some <laughs> physical contact. Don't like, touch me like that. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me uncomfortable. Stop. <laughs> oh, you're uncomfortable? Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but you establish some physical contact. You see where that goes. Nah, you yeah. play by Because you got to, like, see, see what you just did. I did that. You're like, don't. Yeah. Nah, I can't fuck. Mm-hmm. So it's like, all right, got to stop. Play but if I left and you just chill, mm-hmm. it's like, ooh, I'm going to whip my dick out. So now like, when you got to stop, <laughs> how you go from there? Huh? I just said it. F- ooh. I'm gonna whip my dick out. No, 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 no. <laughs> when she don't, when you don't, when she don't want you to touch her, and she stops, and then you stop doing your thing. Oh man, shit! I gotta get up early in the morning, man. You know it's crazy. Like my mom's coming here tomorrow. You gotta go. And she's like, I thought you said your mom was in Florida. I no, I, I live I, in my mom. I call my mom for it. Acknowledge. I live with my mom. I acknowledge that shit right away. Huh? I acknowledge that shit right away. I start the convo. I'm like, what, like get out? No, I'll be like, yo, what are you trying to do? Like, what are we trying to do? Like, oh, yeah. Are we, are, we, are we fucking? Are we not fucking? If you're not fucking, that's cool. Sometimes I'm you gotta ask that go back. question. If you want one, I'm the. You gotta ask that question sometimes because sometimes yeah, it's not I'm very not clear my at time all. We're grown. We're not wasting our time just playing the, ooh, do, are we gonna do this or not? <laughs> not nah, I like to kind of feel the vibe. It's fun. I feel the vibe first, but that, if she's giving me the, the signals where she's not with it, then I'm like, acknowledge it. Because again, I also, I don't wanna make, you don't wanna make that person uncomfortable. Keep trying to, yeah. I'm gonna keep trying to. Fuck you for ten minutes and you're not with it. Like, also, I, I kind of know like if you're coming to my crib, we're fucking. Yeah, I feel like I feel like a lot of women don't. Depending on the hours as well. That, like, no, they be knowing. Invite uh, invite to the crib is a hundred percent means. Depending not on the 100%, time. Hundred percent, but like it means. Nah, certain times, yes. Yeah. Like twelve o'clock don't in go the to morning. People, don't if a dude says let's <laughs> come back to my place, don't go if you're not trying to fuck. Twelve o'clock in the morning, you come over to a nigga's crib. Just trying to talk. That's happened to me before. <laughs> I've done that to a woman before. That's happened to me before. Like. Like she came over for like some dick, and then she said something crazy, and I was like, "No." <laughs> she said, "Um, I don't know how." Oh, we watching a uh, uh, American like, Psycho. You look like <laughs> <laughs> she was like, uh, "We was watching American Psycho." And he's taking all those pills. She's like, "Yo, have you ever like taken pills or something like that before?" I was like, "Nah, like I'm not into that." I was like, "I was like, have you?" What kind of pills? And then uh, I don't remember the pills she said. Perks. Yes, yes, yes. So off the, off the perky? She's a, she's a, she took perk 30, fentanyl. No, I said fentanyl. Fentanyl. <laughs> no, nah, fentanyl. My bad. Crazy. My bad. Not fentanyl. But Shorty told me she takes fentanyl. I'm like, yo. What's that nah. thing you pour in the cup lean? with the Sprite? Yes, lean. Shake she said wow. lean. I checked out. I was like, we're done here. A perk? Yeah. Like, uh, you're done. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you're done. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I don't want to talk to you no more. <laughs> Sitting there, the movie ends. She's like, I was like, yeah, you know. It's about to get, she's like, oh, you want to watch another movie? I'm like, ah, oh, okay. She's like, all right, I'll smoke this black and mild first. Man. That's how I imagine her sound like. Clearly tells she wanted to have sex. I'm like, I don't want you nowhere she, near she, my she, penis. She was like, going to rock your world, bro. No, she was not. She how was going to put it on fentanyl, probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah, y'all could have fucked. She would have smoked the black and mild after. You know what would be pissing me off? I hate when I see, like, a fine chick on, like, social media, and then she pulls out a cigarette. It's like, you fucking scum. Like... Fucking yeah. scourge of the earth, like you dirty. Just transition to vapes, like everyone else. No, nah, just don't do none of that. Do you, the vape is a turn off. It's, it's the same thing. It's as dangerous as a cigarette. Yeah, but it's a smell. <coughs> For me, it's a smell. All right, but it's as dangerous as a cigarette. All right, what are you? Her lungs, like, <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck? I might be. <laughs> I want to be something. Like, like uh, damn, bro, I want to contribute. Secondhand cancer from nah, her. Nah, cause like it's just. 
Imagine you want to do something like going on a hike. You hear, Damn. Are black and mild lungs, my nigga. <laughs> like, come on, son. I, I know you're going on many hikes with these with, with women. Not yet. See? We can't do that on the first day. That's crazy. Uh, like, Yo, I can't mess with you because on the potential, I want to take you on a hike. I don't know if you have the stamina. So, <laughs> so you got to take it the first day. You do a mini hike in Central Park. You get a mm-hmm. gauge for her lung capacity. Yeah, just walk a couple blocks and see. Are you huffing and puffing? Yeah. I got I got no elevator, so they they climb oh, these yeah. stairs. Depending I'll be on failing how, at that. that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, y'all niggas is out of shape. <laughs> you know what's mm-hmm. you know what's also funny? You ever try to pick a girl up and and they always like you ever see their reactions? <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. That's not where like I thought you were going. Physically lift the woman up. I was gonna say you ever tried to pick a girl up, you couldn't. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, mean, I was gonna say <laughs> Oh shit, oh shit, you're fat. <laughs> One time I was messing with this with this uh she wasn't that big, she was a little heavy set. Uh, I lifted her up, and she wasn't that heavy. But after I put her down, I, I had mm-hmm. let out a nice. <sighs> and she said, she got her eyes got big, and she was like, "You're out of breath." <laughs> no, I could see that because you're like you're big, like you're like physically big. So but I you know, get that. like hey, it wasn't like hard, but you know. But I'm saying I nice. can understand like how she would be like, "Oh shit!" Like, like, you can't even. I remember one time this girl was like, "You can't lift me up," and I knew I could. I just didn't lift from the proper base. So I kind of like went high, like shoulder, oh, and went no. <laughs> She didn't move. She's like, "See, I told you." I was like, "Nah, nah, nah, fuck out of here." I had to go for the ankles, like. Argh. I cannot wait to put her down. I feel, like, like, I, feel like, I feel like it's a deal breaker for a lot of women if you can't physically pick them up. But they be wanting you to pick them up by their armpits, like nah, I don't like a child. Baby, no. That's what they. Nah, that's why some of these five two like, women like, want six I'm two niggas. Women up like that, like like Simba. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> what the fuck? They want to be treated like Simba. The 5'2 bitches and the 5'1 bitches that want to be picked up. Yeah, they want that. Ask a 5'7 girl if she wants to get picked up like that. Nah, because she can't. Like, where are you going? (laughs) Where are you going? I will lift any 5'7 girl. That's interesting, too. Like, I don't really care. Um, Mm -hmm. I can say it real quick and we can move on. Mm -hmm. But it's always interesting, like, with shorter women, why they want, like, six foot niggas. Mm Because, like, of the whole lifting up and they want someone to feel like their dad. And then, like, you meet a 5'7 chick, and she's like, I don't really care about your height. Like, as long as we're on the same plane, we're good. 5'2 women be like, nah, son. Like, you got to be 6'3. <laughs> I, feel, I feel that, though. It's because it's because they, need they short, like dad. but you short, too. So it's like, nah, we can't rock like this. Why? But if your you five, seven, But if you 5'7 and she's 5'7, she don't look at it that way because she's already tall. She's yeah. going to be like, all right. But that, that's weird because it's like your parents did it, and this is where you are, short stack. So fuck <laughs> Damn, you mad for? Like, <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> mad because... <laughs> <laughs> that, women are very discriminatory. Yeah. They just feel embarrassed. Like, damn, I'm with a short nigga. I'm embarrassed but then too. When, you, when I she's look five like I'm seven, with a fucking child. When she's five seven and you're oh, five you wanna, seven, she's like, oh damn. I, you don't I'm think the niggas it. embarrassed too? All you want to wear is Crocs and different colored socks all day. You don't think that looks fucking embarrassing walking outside with you, <laughs> dumbass? Like. Sitting there wearing two different pairs of socks like you're not... You're 36! Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck out of here. Like, sit, like, oh, uh, yo, women are an anomaly, my nigga. Like, <laughs> women be making me sweat. Like, I, yeah, I don't get that. You 5'1", you still not messing with a dude that's because he's 5'6". Five, six, six, uh, five, six, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. you see Shaq and his girl? That's Shaq disgusting. Shaq looks like a fucking father to... Nigga. Mammoth. Nigga looks like a mammoth. That's, he'll look like that with any girl, though. Yeah, he, got, he yeah, literally yeah. got a date like Britney Griner. Like. Yeah, 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 yeah. And even then, she gonna look a little short. <laughs> nah, that'll be alright though. Like it'll make sense. Yeah, yeah you can't be dating Britney Griner though. Fucking um, oh that's, my that's god, abuse, I, nigga. I'll be having like things to say and I just be forgetting immediately. And I'm now I'm tight because I was thinking about um, oh nope, I remember, I remember. Kevin Samuels was talking to this woman on IG Live, mm-hmm. and this doesn't have to be a timestamp. Don't worry about it. Um, Kevin Samuels, Kevin Samuels was talking to this woman on IG Live and. She was basically just like shitting on her parents for being middle class, and what? you saw it, right? So she was shitting on her parents for being middle class, and she was saying how she wants to have like a, uh, a better life, sort of saying. Um, I'm gonna paraphrase, mm-hmm. but you know, like all of us, we want more in life. Um, I think that's the goal of a parent for your kids to want more. But she was just like, yeah, like um, basically just downplaying like the work her parents put in just to be middle class. Like that's like an easy fucking thing to do. Like. Mm-hmm. Not everybody's middle class in America. Like, that's actually really fucking hard. Mm-hmm. Um, so Kevin Samuels is like, yo, shut up. Like, how dare you put your family down like that for working their ass or for you to be able to even talk like this? Like, and all you're doing is selling fucking bundles. Like, mm-hmm. so you don't even live alone. You live in their house. And you have the audacity to disrespect your dad. Like, no one's going to see this. Like, mm-hmm. like people, 
people probably see this and know who you're talking about and see him walk around the street like that's fucked up like yeah, and I just and thought that was crazy for like a millionaire boyfriend or some shit I'm guessing she wouldn't make as much as someone that made what her, do- what her dad made her dad uh, she couldn't mess with someone that doesn't make as much as her dad okay yeah, yeah. she wouldn't mess with someone that even made as much as her dad made as much as her dad okay. he remember you he's middle class that's like 45 middle class is 45 42 it depends on the like 40, 42 it yeah. depends on the state New York is probably in New York 40, 50 yeah oh I'm a middle class American okay yeah you're not you're I thought okay. I was poor the average middle class in America is like I might be I'm not gonna hold you. I thought middle class was like ninety. No, no. In New York, that's it's my okay. But then they have a combined income. Well, I guess that's what she she doesn't give a fuck about that. The parents. I think okay. the average salary in New York is like sixty to seventy. Something oh, like that. Oh, excuse you, big bank. So I mean, it's the average. It's big bank gets oh, little bank. Big bank over here, hey, he's above the average. Hey, Yo, man. buy us a new mic, bro. Come I got on, you. Man. Say less. Mm-hmm. There's a new mixer. It costs five hundred dollars. Wow. How about that, Chief? See what I'm talking about? This Tug, nigga, collar. These niggas is Republicans, bro. This shit crazy. I'm, shit, I'm a socialist. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to lie to you I'm either. Not, not, I don't know what that means, so. That's fine. I be hating when I see um like people um women like that on like social media, not social media, on like Hinge and shit like that. And like, oh, <coughs> I don't want to fuck with you if you're not a leftist liberal pirate. Like, I'm like, I don't even. <laughs> what are you talking about? Hey, <laughs> I didn't even file taxes. Like, I, don't <laughs> <laughs> I just be swiping left. I'm like, right, I'm like yo, I'm not. working class. Yeah, well, a lot of times they don't even know what that means. You ask, I don't you know. Ask what, it means. Like, yo, what does that mean? They're gonna be like, I don't know. I just like Bernie Sanders. It's <laughs> gonna say something like that. It's like, did yeah, you, I voted for Bernie. Like, that's all I know. Did you um? <laughs> did you see uh, Megan Thee Stallion and Partisan Fontaine's picture? Yeah, I saw that. You, well, you saw the, what everybody was saying. He had the feminist <laughs> tattoo, and she on her knees, like right in front of him. That shit is crazy. This is bold. Like, that's feminism. <laughs> Fucking 100%. That's feminism. God damn right partisan. When you can get right back on your knees, that's feminism. Like, oh, <laughs> all right, it's not feminism, but like. <laughs> yeah, you made it. It's something. A femi- well, feminism means you, if you're a feminist, it means you want equality. Mm-hmm. You know what? Never mind. I look all the wild out. Let it Danger. fly. <laughs> I was going to say equality. That means you want to, you're equal to his dick. Like, <laughs> oh my God. I mean, see, this is why I miss Oscar. Cause like, he'll, like, I'll say some shit. He's like, oh man. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> like, the disappointment. The disappointment. <laughs> Just the utter disgust in what I'm saying. I don't mean that. I don't mean that. I'm a feminist. No, that was, that was interesting. That person Fontaine thing. Was it? I don't know. Nah, it, was nah, funny. Yeah, it was interesting. I don't know why I said. <laughs> it was like, damn, nigga, that was interesting. No, nigga was invested. I just really didn't care. Like, Could have been me. <laughs> you know what was funny though? Someone like, cause like she was dick level to him. It was like, nah, like she's not on her knees. She's actually lifting him up. You just don't know. <laughs> and then someone drew a picture of her. Like, <laughs> yo, yo, niggas is creative, man. Red I wish white. I thought about. Yo, it. Got, got the time. strength, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, shit. Speaking of, uh, well, not. I'm trying to transition. I said speaking oh of. Oh my god. I don't even know. I just want to talk about Halloween because Halloween's coming up. And I'm just ready to see ass. Did you see Doja, <laughs> Doja Cat dressed up with that ass out recently? There's a video of her having an ass out. It's good. I'm just waiting on Halloween so all these fucking Halloween bitches be out with their asses out. Gonna... I'm going to teach you how to do a monologue, man. Like a son. Right, you ruined my transition <laughs> earlier. Sad. Nah, they was just laughing. I was like, we're going to teach you how to set it up, man. Speaking of. <laughs> so speaking of, like. Like, there's so many ways this nigga could have done this, man. You're like, yo. <laughs> man, plug. Yeah, I just right want to see some ass. <laughs> I just want to see some ass, man. Like, Halloween's right around the corner. <laughs> Asses is out. Let's ruin it again. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Halloween's right around the corner. Whatever nah, Halloween but season comes. He, he, he's right, though, because there, there be yo, cons- shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> 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 shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> there be costumes that have nothing to do with Halloween, nigga. Like, <laughs> fucking bunny costumes like all right can i yo i hate y'all niggas like y'all niggas just don't understand content like oh man let the mastermind work man okay okay mastermind let it fly i don't want to let it fly no more <laughs> anywho <Let it> fly. <laughs> what anywho that's your turn to, i gotta start I, instead of saying speaking of i'd be like anywho anywho is me dismissing everything you just said like <laughs> i've been doing that to women but anywho like <laughs> like shut the that's, fuck up i try that it's interesting but um, I do got to work on my butt ums. That should be blowing minds. Uh, but Halloween is right around the corner. Uh, and with every Halloween, it comes women that need to act like whores. Okay. 
I'm now, gonna I'm winging this monologue because this is not my topic. I, I had nothing. I just, I just want to talk about Halloween. So. All I saw is I saw a Doja Cat with an ass out today on IG in a costume. And I'm like, it's Halloween coming. Nice. Mm. Tis the season. You know what I Pumpkin do like? Spice latte. What I do find interesting ass. about this Halloween season is that women are applying Halloween like they do their birthdays where it's a month long. Because yeah. October 1st came, costume. I was like, damn, bitch. Like, why are you dressed like Harley Quinn already? Like, are you crazy or you just Harley, really Harley like Qu- the costume? Harley Quinn ain't it. What? Harley Quinn. What do you mean? Not. Like the character or no, the costume? The, the, everyone's overplayed. Oh, yeah. Overplayed, yeah, 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 yeah. It was cool when the first one came out. Now it's like, fam. I mean, you can look thotty in it, so I should support it. What's the... um? I want to see creative thotty costumes. I don't want to see like the regular slutty cop or... The bunny... Yeah, like slutty bunny. I want to see like a slutty vegan. Like, what? <laughs> like put a lettuce on your titty. Are you joking? That's fine. Just lettuce taped to the titties. Yeah, the like cabbage. I want to see some fire. The like cabbage breast. Uh, yeah, like a slutty NBA player. Like mm-hmm. a WNBA player. Ooh, my bad. I want to see a slutty, uh, a slutty Squid Game. Uh, oh, Kunsei Biok. Whatever her name is. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Kunsei Biok. That's her not her name. In the show, it is. Oh, it is? Oh, I don't know her name in real life. <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah, I get it. Like, a slutty squid games would be kind of fire. It's kind of cool until you die, though. It's like You could be a zombie. We got the bullet hole. Uh, That'd be fire. A slutty zombie. Yeah. Uh, a slutty know. squid game zombie. What about a slutty garbage woman? Ooh. Ooh. Let me take up your Ooh. trash. No. She got a garbage on her? She got, like, a banana peel on her head? Slutty apple worker. Listen, I'm just spitballing. I'm, I'm just trying to see where we're going. Where regular we're non-sexy. <laughs> like regular yeah. positions in life yeah, that would wh- not be sexy. That's where I got Foot Locker. Like. <laughs> yeah, a slutty Foot Locker. What size do you wear, big boy? Mm. Yeah, you know, I, I, work, at, I work at Panera Bread. Uh, <laughs> she like got like, a baguette. She's walking around with fucking baguette. you like that in flatbread or wheat? <laughs> yeah, I'll I like it in wheat, wheat, bitch. I, like. fire. <laughs> I used to work at Whole Foods, and I had a badass employee. She mm. didn't speak English, but she had a fat ass. Wow. I'm like, oh, shit. Did you give her a Rosetta Stone? I'm like, yo, you should be, you should be <laughs> a dykeman right now. You shouldn't be here. You should be serving bottles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're like the opposite of Drake. He could have given her a bad profession. <laughs> Drake would be like, you shouldn't be here. You'd be like, yo, you should be here. Like, <laughs> yeah, like why are you at? Yeah. You got to ask like that. Like, don't worry. Don't worry at Panera Bread. <laughs> yo, don't worry at Panera Bread. <laughs> You can make money on your ass. So you have Panera Bread. Like, what's what? Get your goals together. Yo, you gotta ask like that. Yo, get in, get in the strip club now. I mean, it's it's misogynistic, but like, Panera is not. That's is crazy. Not, is not a. I mean, they have the like career path benefits. No, they don't. The pipeline, the corporate. No, they don't. That's the pipeline. How many of people corporate? that work at Panera Bread work at cor- what is a corporate? They have corporate Panera Bread offices. Yeah. Are it's you like, stupid? This week we're making. Broccoli cheddar soup half off. <laughs> <laughs> Someone no, gotta make the decision. Like, <laughs> like five people. Like, so how, many, how many people you need to, yeah, how many need offices? to fucking, you know? Every store, ha- every place has a corporate location, nigga. I know they do, obviously. Oh, okay. Like, I was getting scared. It's not like, like they have a fleet of like. <laughs> no <laughs> fleet. <laughs> oh, know. man. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> what costume would you expect to see this Halloween that you would be like, all right, yo, mm. this is it? Coming from a woman. Like this is it. I want to see a Lola Bunny since, since, like a sexy titty out Lola Bunny. Okay. Bunny ears, titties out. Was Lola Bunny even in Space Jam? Like, yes, yes. She just wasn't sexy. They need to choose yeah, a different animal. Right? Yeah. Be a yeah. bee or some shit. A bee? Yeah, sexy ass bee. A bee. <laughs> oh, like in um Teen Titans, they had the the black woman. She was a bee. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I rock with that. I rock with that. Yeah, come sting me. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hey, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm allergic. Trying to swat it away, like, ooh, come here, girl. Nah, I'm not trying to swat you away. The worst is when beat, women when women have low effort me. when women have low effort costumes, you know, just be like a regular slutty outfit and just like whiskers. <laughs> like, she took mascara. Or, or little, she's little bunny, whiskers. little uh, cat ears. Just regular ass <laughs> outfit, cat ears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, what are you doing? That shit is mid. So, all they put the black paint on their face, like um, like football, the football player. Football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so man, yo, stay your wear, stupid wear ass a jersey home, with man. a knot and just booty shorts, like I. Right. The wore they wore Sunday. I'm not mad at it. The wore they wore Friday I'm on Saturday. I'm not gonna complain. Is that your work outfit? <laughs> <laughs> Literally put it right <laughs> Just come out in Hooters. Like, mm-hmm. fam, I saw you working there last week. <laughs> like, yeah, I got fired. I just didn't give it back. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna give it back after Halloween, though. It's cool, it's cool. Don't worry about it. Um, uh yeah, I have very actually I, I have high expectations for um 
like I said, this Halloween, I do have high expectations for the prime fact that women started early. And it's like, oh, okay, cool. Y'all getting y'all bullshit fits out the way now so you can come, like, heavy, like a heavy hitter. So, yeah, that's the one thing I got to respect for women. They, they got, like, four or five out. Christmas yeah, Halloween dudes, we were lucky if we have one. Are you excited for Halloween? The worst is when dudes pull up to Halloween parties just regular. Like I don't care. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah. I clearly don't. That. I clearly don't give a fuck about Halloween. I'm just here for some bitches. Like that's I'm not doing that straight this year. Fit. I'm putting on. <laughs> He's like, I'm, I'm putting on an actual Halloween fit this year. Like I'm ready. Do you know where you're gonna be? I've have I have thoughts. So mm. I want to be Fred Flintstone, but then I was like, it's gonna be kind of cold. That's stupid. I don't want yeah, to be I love that girl. What the fuck was that? Yeah, bro. You ever never done? You ever know? You ever know? He was probably retarded. Yeah, I'm not uh, saying that word. <laughs> yeah, I didn't say that word. I just had a hand issue. Like, I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> You're like Fred Flintstone. But um, <laughs> on the spectrum. I thought about Fred Flintstone, and I was like, no, it might be too cold. I thought about being number one from Cody and Kim's Kids Next Door. But then I was like, I don't really want to wear a ball cap. I look like him right now. You do. Yeah, you do. I, I basically do. So he wear like a fucking red turtleneck. What is this fit? Yeah, red turtleneck and some shorts. But yeah. I was like, I don't really think people gonna get it, and nah, I want people to get it. No one's gonna get it. And then, um, so now I'm kind of struggling. So I don't really know. I was thinking about Dexter's Labor. I was thinking definitely thinking of Johnny Bravo. But I was like, niggas not gonna get that if I just pull up into some pants and a black wig. shirt. Like I would have to get the wig and commit. And the sunglasses. And that kind of sucks. I don't really want to walk around in a wig all night. <laughs> Like that's like yeah, it sounds mediocre. Like but I got a couple costumes. You um, just look like an auntie. <laughs> yeah, see, I was like, nah, I'm not. Ludwig. I'm thinking about Gerald from Hey Arnold. I feel like that's just like my last effort. Mm. Like if I can't figure it out, get the 33 jersey. I got pants on already. Can you get the afro? I don't have an afro, but I got like curls. That's close enough. <laughs> no one's gonna know. No one's gonna know. But that's like my backup. Like all right, mm. I'm gonna be. Uh, it's my last diff effort. I'm gonna be Tyrone Biggums, the crackhead. From Chappelle show. Yeah, that's funny as fuck. I, that's like that's one I've had in my back pocket for years, and now I'm just. If like, you oh. really do crack too, that's gonna take I, you over the edge. I got crack with me. Yeah. I think you should do it. I mean, I <laughs> commit, right? Yeah. Just get it from your old trainer. That's fact. <laughs> my gym trainer. All right. I still get drugs from him here and there. <laughs> Not crack. But other drugs. Sick nigga, bro. Um, sick nigga, bro. All right, let's change. Let's change. Let's change gears one time. You gotta get it how you get it. <laughs> All right, we was doing two. <laughs> All right, Donald Trump. <laughs> so Donald Trump recently came out and made a statement about uh, Colin Powell. For those of you that don't know, Colin Powell was uh, George Bush's Secretary of Defense. He just passed away from COVID, and uh, Colin Powell was the dude that was responsible for the lie and myth about uh, weapons of mass destruction. So everyone that was like, "Oh shit, there's weapons of mass destruction," the lie. He was the dude that like first vocalized it and pushed it the hardest. Okay. Uh, in front of everybody, in front of the world, like on the on the biggest stage, and Trump made a statement recently, ethering this man. Trump said, "Wonderful to see Colin Powell, who made big mistakes in Iraq and famously called so-called weapons of mass destruction, to be treated in death so beautifully by the fake news media. Hope that happens to me someday. He was a classic rhino, and even then, always the first to attack Republicans. He made many mistakes, but anyway, may he rest in peace. This thing is an asshole. <laughs> so, I love the rest in like peace at the end. Yeah, you gotta kind of put it in there for like. like yeah, because of him, th hundreds of thousands of people died. But yeah, rest yeah. in peace though. I think it's a piece of shit. I, miss, Not, yeah. I, I low key probably. miss his tweets because I like the pettiness. Well, if you miss his tweets that bad, Ooh. he will be creating a new social media platform. Damn for real. Um, yes, I do not know the actual name, but he did create it. It's publicly traded. It's like TMP. I don't fucking know. Mm -hmm. It's something. We're going to call it Trump Twitter. Head. We're going to call it Trump, um, just Trumps or something. Trigger. Huh? Trigger? Trigger. Okay. Um, <laughs> I was trying to combine both words. Yeah. Oh, tw tr tr Twitter. <laughs> it's just Twitter. Just Twitter at that point. Twitter. <laughs> it's just Twitter at that point. It's Twitter. Um, but nah, yeah, like he created his own social media platform. It's in the works. Um, mm -hmm. It's not live yet. So are you, taking that, are you taking that sponsorship? What? If they try to sponsor us? No. You win? <laughs> You're not taking that sponsorship? How will we address it? Be the right wing icons. They wouldn't. Goddamn America, son. <laughs> they would not. This week's it. episode completely irresponsible. We're gonna let you know why brown people are ruining this country, and, and why I'm, black lives don't matter. Yeah, <laughs> black <laughs> lives do not matter. Blue uh, lives matter unless they're brown. Mm hmm The only wall I like is blue. Mm hmm Got I like it. my pussy pink and my walls blue. 
goddamn, yup. I was watching the Yankees the other day. Mm-hmm. It's goddamn Jose playing. Jose? Some bullshit. I, you know what I like my Jose doing? I like, cr- I like him mowing my lawn. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, sir. Yep. Right over you. yep. You know what's funny? I saw this young fellow by the name of LeBron James oh, just man. dunking the ball. Mm-hmm. And I just could not wait for him to dunk some cotton right back in that basket. Ooh-wee. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait. Oh, I just man. can't wait till the next revolution. We're going to get these niggas out of here. Like, oof. They need a... Uh, All they talk about is rights, rights, rights. Why don't you write on a piece of paper, you illegitimate bastard? Mm-hmm. I'm taking it too far. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a character you, now. You I'm ready. Man, you love that one too much. You want to get off? I'm going to say nigger. I'm going to say nigger. Oh, man. I'm but, just saying, uh, like, women? Oh, my God. Let me tell you what my wife did last night. She made a steak. It was rare. I could not tell you my fist was ready. <laughs> <laughs> it was ready. <laughs> but did Wayne say trigger finger itching? <laughs> my fist... That Wayne boy, he could talk, man, because mm-hmm. my fist was ready to go. She 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 made my chicken, mm-hmm. and she had the nerve the to nerve. put some Goya on it. I love me some Goya, but she put too much seasoning. That if you wouldn't put anything but salt on my shit, that fucking bitch, it's over. Mm. Who was she fucking Juanito? Mm-hmm. Mm. See, that's what I told you about them Mexicans. You cannot let them do your lawn. Yep. Just the fences. You mm-hmm. need to have them be used to building walls. I, I ain't letting no no mm-hmm. no wetback touch my John Deere 3000. <laughs> no. No. Never. If they're not building <laughs> a wall, what else could they be doing with their lives all day? Mm-hmm. See, 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 and that's where you fucked up. You had Juniper, yep. whatever his name is. Juniper. I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not Mexican. I'm American. Yep. I, I drink whiskey in the mornings. Mm-hmm. And... I eat liver at night. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's right. it been dragged. <laughs> yeah, it was. What do you think the requirements are to get on the Trump app? Oh, John man. Gruden's already in it. So you need you need to, to send him a selfie for confirmation, but in the selfie, you got to be wearing Oakley's. <laughs> so that's the first thing. He's got to be wearing Oakley's. Bro, Oakley's, Oakley's a high key racist. Yeah, fuck. Oakley's. That's like prime. You got to be in your car in the selfie and wearing Oakley's. And you got to be in a pickup truck with a beard, it. with a fucking mullet mm. beard. Yeah, yeah, you can't have a salami face and an American mm. flag in the background. But nah, after that, Amen, you got to do some testing requirements. You got to ask some questions. Questions got to be answered. Ooh, what do you now, answer? if you're John Gruden, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> you done passed. He he got first access to the app. Mm. He done hit everybody. But if you're a regular American, the first question is, were you at the Capitol? Mm. No, you're not in there. Mm. You're not getting in that app. You walk to the supermarket. An individual come up to you. I'm gonna answer the question. Looking very dangerous. Call the cops. But you can't tell. You can't tell his ethnicity. He could be Asian. Okay. He could be Arab. Okay. He could be Hispanic. Okay. What do you What do you do in this situation? Well, you have to go where processes of deductations. Mm-hmm. So what you're gonna do is one. You're gonna, you want to find out if he's Asian, give him a calculator mm-hmm. and see what he does with what, the calculator. What if he's from Wuhan? You still give him the calculator, but from a distance. <laughs> 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 Just to find out. Just to be safe. If he does not pass the calculator mm-hmm. test, who was the next person? Uh, Arab. Arab. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> Put a plane in the building right next to each other and see what he does with it. <laughs> if the building and the plane are still in contact, He's not an Arab. This, this is how you know if you're an Arab or not. You're like, hey, hey, Usama, do you know how to land this plane? And if they say no, then they're, they're Arab. Arab. If they say yes, then they're Arab. <laughs> then they're, if they know how to land, Arabs don't know how to land plane. They just bump yeah, it. they land it in the building. That's not landing. They don't oh. That's not landing. They never learned how to land it. Like, yo, you know how to put the wheels Listen. down? They're like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I go by American propaganda, and they told me. Mm-hmm. That they can land it, just not the way we land it. It's not traditional to us. They landed on mm-hmm. buildings? Yes, in the building. <laughs> That's not landing, nigga. That's crashing. The uh, blacks? Maybe. We don't listen to them. We call the cops. Yeah. Ten bullets in the back, and that's on sack. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that recent cop shooting video? What? It's kind of depressing. Did you see a recent cop shooting video? No, what's video? wrong with this nigga? <laughs> it's not a good transition? No, you now I'm upset. One? Anywho. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm upset. Like... You want to kill the vibe? <laughs> nah, fuck it. Let's kill the vibe. Let's kill the vibe. Well, so you, recently... Did you see the video? No. I'm, let me, let me <laughs> take, let me take the video. 
I'm, killing, I'm about to kill some vibes. And you, you want to kill a vibe? Bro, you were doing a, you were doing a fucking uh, a redneck impersonation for 15 minutes. All right, all right, that's funny. That's funny. I'm trying to align myself, nigga. Let me, I'm going to kill a vibe, though. I'm really about to kill this vibe. All right, all right. So, if there was any other way to know men in this world aren't shit, recently on the Pennsylvania train coming into New York, a bunch of pieces of shit were sitting on a train and a woman got raped. And what did they decide to do? You guessed it. Not help. These dirty pieces of shit decided, let me take out my phone and just record this incident so I can put it on social media in hopes to catch the nigga. Sheesh. Instead of actually fucking helping. My stance on this, all the niggas need the death penalty. That's where I'm, I'm at. Like, that's fucking nuts. How are you, as a human being, to sit on a train watch a woman get raped and just be like, I, right, yeah. I told you I'm going to kill the vibe. Um, just be like, I, right, I'm just going to record this shit. That's where our society is, my nigga. Niggas is recording rapes instead of helping rapes. Yeah. I know. That's fucking, when I heard about that shit, I stopped. I was like, what? Like, I heard about that shit at work. I was like, oh my God. Yeah, that's a uh, bad luck. Told you I'd kill the vibe. I seen a, yeah, I don't know. I seen a video, <laughs> I seen a video <laughs> once know. where we were fucking like on the, at the train station. And I'm like, and I, at first I thought it was a rape, and then I'm like, oh, they're just crazy. Well, no, I was a rape. No, that's not about. the one I was talking about. I'm talking a different one. This was like, uh, like on the, just on the fucking platform. Yeah, on the was platform. It, was a nigga on top of her? I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, I could have sworn it was like Matthew surrounding, and it's it just... probably more than one of these occasions. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. I don't know. Okay, but yeah, you got any other topics? I, I wanted to keep talking about that. <laughs> I was, oh, I wasn't ready. <laughs> it was just All gonna... right, lead the way, Kobe. All right, Kobe's dead, so I don't appreciate that. Lead the way, LeBron. Okay, now I don't think I can go on this topic because no. <laughs> All right, then. Any Anywho, other, we got any other topics? Anywho, no, I think that's it. That's it. Unless you want to talk more about rape. No. You brought it up, damn! Why are you acting? Like <laughs> Not like that. I like that. All right. Talk your shit. All right, now I'm just gonna start chatting now because we're at an hour anyway, so we passed the goal. All right, um, cool. fucking. This is, like, really relevant, but I just didn't know, like, when you're decorating your house, it has to flow. What? Like, every room has to flow. Like, it has to make sense, like, when you paint. So, I painted my bathroom, like, a green, because, like, I can. And my aunt was like, yo, this makes no sense. Like, okay, so the color like, palette of your of Yeah, because, like, my living room has that red wall. <laughs> then the dining room is just white with a black strip. Then the bathroom is green. Then my closet room is, like beige and then my bedroom is gray and i want to paint the kitchen blue she's like yo what the fuck is going on in your house like this makes no fucking sense it's just like a mess and i was like Feng Shui fucked up. yeah all fucked up so i gotta start all over yeah. from the dining room out i was tight i'm not happy yeah it kind of matters like you see you ever see uh kim and kanye's house the fucking the when it was like all white it's like super no it's not even it's all gray and stoned and like no it looks it's like minimalist all gray walls looks like industrial like nothing <laughs> And recently, since the divorce happened, she got she got the house. Concrete. She got the house, and uh, no, and uh, her daughter was like, "Yo, I fucking hate, I fucking hate this house. This fucking looks like a this all cement. I'm a, I'm a baby. I need colors." Wait, she really? She didn't say that because of her verbatim, but the baby. But was no, like, but she did say like, "I don't like it." Yeah, kid. Yeah, the kid was like, "It's fucking ugly." <laughs> like, that it makes is. sense because they're fucking kids. It looks yeah. horrible. It looks like, so why are you raising your kid in a fucking factory? <laughs> yeah, a minimalistic you know I mean? house. Mm -hmm. Them kids are gonna come out crazy, bro. You think so? Yeah, definitely on Ritalin. Oh, shit, they might. You see Kanye's mask? You see his head? You see his name yeah, yeah. change? They were saying that might his be name like... His yeah. Was it alopecia or whatever? Feels that's like not alopecia. Like, that's a barber. Feels like it's like he's got stress and that could... No, nah, yeah, I've had like, alopecia, my nigga. That's not alopecia. It's okay. It could happen because of stress. You don't think so? I've had alopecia. That's not alopecia. No. You'll know... Because alopecia comes in like in a quarter form. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't... That was like... Yoink, yoink, yoink. <laughs> Yo... Fuck my shit up, fam. Like, you know what's funny? Some kid in high school, like, his sister lit his head on fire. <laughs> so Jesus. instead of just saying that, he was like... Oh, no, I'm sorry. He had alopecia. Instead of just saying that, he lied and said so, his sister lit his head on fire. Sounds more As I got older, I was like, you had alopecia, bro. It sounds sounds more badass. No, because his sister is significantly younger than him. So it's like, you're a lit bitch. my head on fire. Yeah. Let everybody at school think your sister's a bitch or let people know you have uh, a... They ran a train on her. A, a condition. They ran a train on her. They ran a train on her? Not at that age. <laughs> <laughs> when she was older. Yo, she she, she don't want to burn the house down. <laughs> that shit mad casual. No. no. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, All right. God. 
Anybody else got anything else to talk about? What time is it? Oh, I have a plenty of time to get to Target. Okay. All right, guys. This has been great. Um, like always. This has been amazing. Yeah, amazing. As always, call 1-800-GET-SOME if you need to get some bitches. Remember, that girl is not cute. You are just horny. And uh, do you have anything else you want to say to the people? I don't, I don't like y'all. Oh, wait. No, I got one more thing. Stop trusting those people on social media that say they'll give you some money through your cash app. They're going to hack your account. Stop. You ever get try, a fucking job. You ever try to entertain them? Yeah, I did that this morning. For real? Yes. Yeah, uh, Sugar mom hit me up. It was like, oh, I can give you money. I was like, she was like, oh, what's your what's your email oh, address? And like, I was like, why can't you just like PayPal it to me? And she's like, oh, cause like my bank is too technical. I was like, no bank is that technical. I entertained one of them, and they sent a letter to my house saying like, oh, we're gonna send you money. That's funny. I was like, all right. Nah. <laughs> I would have been paying again. I'm like, nah, they got me. Like, <laughs> they got my debit so card the, now. The return address is Nigeria. Yeah, you about to, <laughs> this thing's about to get scam scammed. Shit. All right, guys. As always, we're out of here. <laughs>